Hi everyone. How is everyone? I don't know if I'm live on yet because it's still refreshing the page. How is everyone today? It's just after four o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Saturday the 5th of June. I'll wait a few moments for even one person to get on. Now friends, it's a really quick one because I've got a lot of um, work to do in, in around half an hour before it gets dark here with the parrots and um, high maintenance. So how is everyone today, especially in Melbourne? It's been a very, very gloomy, cloudy, cold day. It's been very, very cold. But life goes on. We still have to do what we need to do. Um, I've got some nice French music in the background. You know, friends, I was meant to live in the south of France. I always wanted to live in the south of France or Corfu in Greece. One of those places, always. I've visited it a few times during my travels. I have travelled a lot, especially in my 20s and my 30s. But never mind, I ended up in Melbourne. It doesn't matter where we are in the world now, friends. The same shit is happening all over the world. All over the world, it's happening the same stuff. So when I hear that people are on their caravans and driving out of Melbourne or whatever, or some very well-meaning people say, well, I'm getting out of Melbourne, I think either you're, you're smoking too much of this or you really don't know what's happening in the world because it's all over the world. Now, friends, last year I spent a lot of time telling you what's going on in the media, the world, this and that, and metaphysical stuff and whatever, and I'm thinking, you know all this stuff now. Because I'm seeing that a lot of videos are online that a lot of you send me. The, the opportunist, um, controlled opposition groups and individuals in Australia are all telling you what's in the news. That's why I tell you, listen to the news. It's all there. But instead, you're listening to these bozos on the videos. And um, if you want to listen to them, that's fine. But they're not saying anything different that's happening in the world. Now, friends, I've got a new word in my vocabulary. A new word, being a Scorpio. We like to expand our horizons. Drinking my Chinese tea, which has helped me a lot. The word opportunist, and what the word opportunist means is someone that sees a situation and says, how can I benefit from that situation? What can I do or say, do or say, to benefit from that situation? And friends, unfortunately, I'll speak for each country, in Australia, all the main people who are online, all the groups and the individuals are all opportunists. And I'm telling you now, friends, like I've said to you a hundred million thousand times before, that the people who are running the protests, organising the protests, and who are organising anything else, and all these theatrics that you see with the police, it's all theatrics. You see why it's theatrics? It's so clear why it's theatrics. They are all Liberal Party, most of them, are the Liberal Party, in fact, probably most of them. Liberal Party, they've been plants, plants of the Liberal Party to speak against the Labor because this is all politics. Because friends, you and I know that what's happening in, in Melbourne, Australia and the world, right? We know whose agenda this is, right? We know whose agenda it is. And they belong to the Republican, Socialist, Democrat, I should say, Republican, Democrat, Liberal, Labor, Greens, Animal Justice Party, Fiona Patterns and all the rest of it. They all belong, they're all in the same bed, all of them. Even the Informed Medical Options Party, all of them, they're all the same. They are all the same. They're trying to find an opportunity to get members, to get people to raise funds, right? And to make you think that they are doing something for us. Now, let me explain why. I mean, I'm surprised they even have to explain why, but I will. Example, that dickhead in America do a big tree, right? And the attacker Carlson's them. Are they? Yep, 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 yep. They actually talk more than me, right? So what they've been doing, and remember, friends, anyone who does a film and that's been accepted in Hollywood is one of them. Is one of them. Anyone who's in Hollywood is one of them. Anyone who's in the film industry who was able to produce anything big to even get it. Because, friends, to even get a film to go to the, um, what do you call it, the Film Awards in Cannes, because I've, I've studied all this stuff and I've, I've had to because of the films that I wanted to make, you have to be one of them. 
You have to be as honest. You have to be one of them. You can't just be anyone and make a film and, oh, it's gone to the Cannes Film Festival. It doesn't work that way, that way friends. It doesn't work that way in a cartoon. It doesn't work that way. So what they do is they blah, 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 right, and, and say things that we want to hear. And they do documentaries and they're on TV every night and they do videos and all this and whatever. So my question to you, friends, are because I know that all of you out there are very intelligent, super intelligent with high vibrations. What change has occurred as a result of them exposing what's happening in the world? What change has happened? Because they haven't been talking. These presenters overseas, I'll get to the Australian ones, have not been just talking about this stuff the past one, two, three, four, five, ten years. Even David Icke has been doing this 20, 30 years. What change has happened in the world? Has anyone arrested them for saying what they have? Has anyone sued them for defamation? Have any pharmaceuticals, any companies sued your tuckers and your and your um, big trees for what they're saying against the government and what they're saying against corporations, right? They're saying some serious shit. Why has anyone sued them? Why hasn't anyone shot them? Why hasn't anyone said anything to David Icke to, to anyone else? To your, um, what's his name? That other one that screams that I can't stand, that American guy, the shouts of the time I've forgotten his name. Um, the one with the radio station. Has there been any change on this planet from anything that these people in America have said? Trump, four years in office. He was against Clinton. He was against Kennedy. He was against this. He was against that. Did he take any of them to court? Did he sue anyone? Did he do anything? See, it's no point. See, see, friends, don't go saying, oh, Paris, you're all talking, you don't do anything. i tell you why. Because I don't have a fat pocket of millions and billions of dollars to set up a political party and to make a fucking change. They have the money. Well, I'll get to the Australians in a second. These Americans, your Trumps have got billions, your Tucker Carlson, your Dick, your Big Trees. They've all got the money. They've got the platform. They have a fake platform. I don't have fat pockets to get out there and to hire people to do my marketing, to be my personal assistants, my secretaries, to, to, to do my campaigning and all that. I don't have people to pay. I don't have the money to pay. Right? Well, I do, but I give it to the birds. There's a difference, right? So, friends, when you're listening to these people overseas, your bullshit Trumps, and all these other presenters overseas, your celebrities and all them, ask yourselves, ask yourselves, they are all talk, and they've been talking long before 2020 occurred in the world, right? What? changes have they made have they taken anyone to court have they done petitions as tucker carlson trump and whatever have they done petitions to say okay we know as a fact that this vax is dangerous this is that this is that this is that everyone get together sign petitions we're taking them to court has anyone has trump and all these other presenters has anyone taken anyone to court has anyone in the in the in the social in the um uh, the democratic party taken anyone else to court they were just games they took trump it was just a game but he didn't but he got let loose because it's just a game have you heard of your www your world uh, worldwide wrestling it's a game friends when one punches one here one punches the other one there one there one there one there and they flop down and they get up off their fat ugly asses and they flop down and they get up in in the wrestling match and then they just go back and <laughs> oh whatever yeah 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 i would have got him whatever it's a game friends it's a game and all the dickheads that are in the wrestling match though the audience oh go go trump go clinton go kennedy go this go that whatever it's a game. They're selling tickets. They're selling tickets. They're getting paid. All these presenters over in America, I'm getting to Australia, are getting paid for creating a media worldwide wrestling match. Because that's what's happening, isn't it? You've got people from all sides in all families and friendships arguing with one, one another. Alex Jones, thank you. Thank you. I used to listen to him because our friend told me to listen to him. Uh, around 15, 20 years ago. And I thought, 
I know that my voice ain't exactly angelic, but I can't stand listening to this guy's voice. I can't stand listening to his voice and the stuff he was saying. I'm thinking, why do you have to shout at us to say things like this? Now, let me just drink my Chinese herbal tea here. I'd be told I've got to drink it around this time for ish because if I drink it later at night, 10, 11, I'm in the freaking toilet or not, which is a good thing because I'm urinating all the toxins out of my body. It's a good thing, but I hate getting up when I'm sleeping. I'm trying to sleep anyway, I'm working. Now, that's America. Those of you, yeah, I agree, Belinda, terrible voice, terrible, terrible. I don't know, maybe some women and men find it sexy, I don't know. I can't understand, friends, those of you who, who are, because you know what I was thinking today? Because I've said many times I don't like the word sheep and wake up and whatever, even though I may have used it a couple of times myself. It, it hit me today, Mercury in retrograde, planet Mercury in retrograde, it hit me. You know what, friends? You're not asleep. You're not, you, you're not sheep. I'm not saying about those, those of you who are listening to it now. You're good hearted. You've got good hearts. You've got trusting hearts. It hit me today. Imagine it hit me today. It's all right. I won't be wrong, Ruby. Ruby's calling me. You've got good hearts. You've got good souls. You've got trusting hearts. You've got trusting souls. You know how I know that? Because I used to be like that. I don't trust no one now. You'd be lucky if I trust 10 people in my life at the moment. You'd be lucky. I'm not talking about online people. I'm talking about really close to me. You'd be lucky if I trust five people in my life. Actually, be lucky if, you, if, it, if it's in, even close to five. Because you've got good hearts and you've got trusting hearts. And this is what they're taking advantage of. They're saying, oh, let's say the Trump is going to clear the scum and, and clear the tunnels and shit. I had people from Q ringing me last year and posting online saying that we've got lockdowns in Victoria because they're getting the kids out of the freaking fucking tunnels. I can't even say that without wanting to throw up in the same at the same time. Can you believe that the Trump supporters believe that we had a lockdown? I'm telling you, these Trump supporters are not eating their celery juice. They are smoking too much fucking shit. There's a serious problem when they think of why we had lockdown. They talk about promoting bitcoins. They talk about all the economics of the world and all that. And yet their brain can't go to knowing that the lockdowns are to destroy humanity's economic independence seriously seriously so i got thinking i got thinking and i said to myself these people these people have really either lost the plot or they're on the side of the elite and i'll tell you now they're on the side of the elite right side on the elite now that's america it's america but isn't it interesting, friends? You know, there used to be a saying, because I'm a lot older than a lot of you, friends. Don't look at my pigtails. I'm a lot older than a lot of you. A lot of you are in your 30s and 40s. Not, not a lot older, just a bit. They used to say that when America coughs, Australia sneezes. Cheep! But isn't it funny how Trump coughed and Australia picked up the Trump movement? Because these are all organised. They're all organised, friends. I'm telling you, it's all organised. I've been involved in marketing. I've been involved in public relations. I've worked in the private sector. I've worked in the public service. I've worked everywhere you can imagine. Everywhere. I've copped it left, right and centre from sexist men, sex maniac men, um, 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 sex maniac lesbians breathing over my throat. I've had it all, friends. I've had it all. I have had to write 10 fucking biographies to tell you what I've been through. I've experienced all this shit strategizing plans what is your plan did you plan for the weekend no you didn't you didn't you just said fuck it we're in lockdown can't do shit but there's some of you are smart and you planned and you write down your list clean this clean that do that 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 and that and that but if we have problems in our life health issues family health issues financial problems and all the rest of it which 99% of us do we can't plan you see that's the missing link we can't plan because we have a lot of problems. You see, friends, when I've got my foot issues, this is an example, hold your feathers, right? My feet, I've got issues with my feet. I know what it is, relax, friends. It's because I'm flat foot and I've got some osteoarthritis in my feet and I've got some bursitis. I've got the rapport. 
but this has been happening from at least 2012 but my flat foot and i'm not wearing insoles this is the problem it's all right i'm going to fix all that up with turmeric and the rest of it i don't have time to do everything else oh, i'm not paying a cleaner i'm not playing paying this person i've got to do it all myself so i get tired worn out i don't have time for this shit that's going on in the world and this is what they are um what's that word relying on friends banking that's the word banking because it's all about money they're banking on us being so stressed in our life right having to do everything ourselves because who is it that does most of the things i'm sorry men i'm sorry it's women it's women especially in australia the most misogynist country men have grown up to believe that a woman is just to fuck cook work look after kids look great look like we did when we were 20 and the rest of it right so we've got all these problems and we just say fuck it let someone else deal with the problem same thing is happening in america so many people are poor so many people are distressed you lose your loved ones got no support and what do they say let trump take care of it let trump take care of it now why did they why do you think they trusted trump more because he appeared not to be part of the political families he appeared but you see they planned his life very well the elite excuse me what they did is they got him on on tv celebrity apprentice so the whole world could see him to psychologically get familiar with his face and who he is that is hard he doesn't take um what's that word prisoners he doesn't like you you're fired and then when he was running for office, because it was all planned, everything's planned. You don't just wake up one morning saying, I want to be um, a, a president of the United States. It doesn't work that way. I've been telling Philip for 10 years to get into politics. That's not an overnight thing. If you see us in politics, we're not going to go into politics. I'm just saying to you, right? So when he got in the political arena, everyone was saying, you know, WWW, Worldwide Racing, who, 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 Trump's going to all tell him to get F. And, and, and to fire them all. You see, this is a psychological game. This Q movement is a group of elite Republicans. All the Q groups in Australia, all the Q individuals, the Q and non-Q, they're all the same shit. Right? All these, oh, you'll see a sign from Trump. You'll see this sign from Trump and you'll mean that. You'll see that sign from Trump and you'll mean that. Seriously, friends, seriously, you've either got a very, very trusting heart or you're smoking too much shit. It's one of those, it can't be, because I trusted, and I've still got that, I shouldn't have that, I should tear that down, that great awakening. I should really take it down, I haven't had time to do nothing this year. The new age industry has incorporated the promotion of Trump and all the others, all the others, all the others, all the American speakers, all the main ones, everyone, all of them, celebrities, new age, all of them, they're all frauds. They're all frauds. I'm telling you now, friends. And you know what? I don't have a reason to speak out. I mean, you have no idea, guys, how my life is and what my life is. You have no freaking idea. You have you, you cannot imagine what I'm going through in my life. You're seeing me here calm, calm, the way I am. You're thinking, oh, Paris is all rainbow and it's all fine, whatever. You have no freaking idea what my life is, is what's going on in my life. No idea. Maybe one day you will. Right, so I'm better off just being in the background and doing my stuff. But I've said to you many times, I can't handle lies and I can't handle betrayal. I'm a double Scorpio and the B word, betrayal, is a major issue with Scorpios. Right? I, I have severe, severe sensitive empathy and I cannot handle injustice with people. And I can't take it anymore. When I see something's wrong, I'm going to speak out. If I see an animal being hurt, I'm going to speak out. If I see a kid, something happening to a kid, I'm going to speak out. You know what? Because no one spoke out for me. No one. Oh, when I was younger, yes, my mother did. But as I got older, in my 20s, 30s, 20s onwards, no one spoke up for me. Actually, from 20 onwards, no one spoke up for me. So I know how it feels to want to express yourself and to say something and to say what you can see. Like, this is a, a, a white cup, right? And no one will believe you. I know how that feels. I know how that feels. So this is why I'm speaking out, because I'm 52 and I'm thinking the world's going to shit out. If I don't speak out now, when am I going to do it? Now, getting on to Australia's opportunists. Now, friends, there's another thing you don't know about me, right? You know I'm a Scorpio, and there's something about Scorpios you need to know. We are born private investigators. 
We don't need to go in no, no freaking PI school to know how to investigate and research. Is it raining? No, it's not raining in Melbourne. If there's something that I need to find or learn on this planet, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to freaking find it. Right? So clairvoyantly, I'll know what's going on. But then to prove it to you guys or to someone else, I'll find the information. Whatever you want, I'll find it. So all these opportunists in Australia, all these groups who have organised protests and who are organising protests, all these individuals that go online and say this and that and whatever and whatever, they're all opportunists for the Liberal Party, for the elite. Because remember, the elite is the Liberal, Labor, Greens, Animal Justice, the unions, everyone, they're all elites. So what's happening at the moment is because Scott Morrison, the Liberal Party, postponed the federal elections from this year, August, September to next year, May, it's all done on purpose. It's all done in plan. I'm not going to name the groups, with the online groups who are organising the protests because they are employed by the Liberal Party. So right, you can tell me, fuck Paris, you're fucked in the head, you're blonde bimba and the rest of it. My second brain's in the back. Can you see it? Where is he? Can you see my second brain? You can see it, can't you, there? Somewhere there. Why well, can't I see it? There he is. There. Next to my saint. That's Saint Paraschivi. It's my name. She's Italian saint. She's Italian. She was born very wealthy and her parents died when she was around 18, 19. She sold it. She got rid of all her wealth to help people. Well, I've always got Saint Paraschivi. That's my name. Paraschivi means Friday in Greek. Right? It's a male and female name. All these groups are employed by the Liberal Party. So what they've done is, is they've wanted to work us psychologically for the next six months to build us up to vote for Liberal. Liberal labor is the same. So you can say, Paris, what's the difference? Because unfortunately, friends, when you get men and women who have the brain of a two-year-old, actually I shouldn't even say two-year-old, I should say minus two, get together on a worldwide wrestling platform, they're all bitching with one another. They're all bitching of who's going to make more money because all their politicians are filthy rich. All their politicians are filthy rich, all of them. It doesn't matter which party, right? I'm not going to get dirty with the language I'm going to use now. I'm going to hold my mouth. Mercury and Richard God, I have to be very careful. I think I've got my mask in my pocket. Watch this, friends. I've been out today. So if I say anything dirty, I'm going to put on my face. I had the mask with me. I don't put it over my face. I don't care to publicly say it. I just put on my chin. If someone says something, I just walk out. I had to go out for my feet appointment, you see. I had to go to the podiatrist. He's done a mold of my foot. I'm going to show you my plaster foot. I'm going to show you my insoles so you see what I'm doing, what I'm really doing. Now, friends, in Australia, they're all opportunists, a whole lot of them. You say, well, Paris, how do you know that? Because like I said before, I have researched everyone. Friends, I have got video footage of things that you're going to see and you're going to say, you're fucking kidding. And I save these things and I send them to my lawyers. You have no idea. When Nick Patterson, another controlled opposition fraud, got was in the theatre with the police. It was all theatre. And I tell you what, these cops must have been good actors. When he got knocked down by the cops, do you know what the FFF Raf Fernandez did? It's all on Sky News, friends. I'm not making it up. Look at the footage of fascist Monica, the Zionist Monica of, of that group. You know what he did? Because Alan Jones is interviewing her and showing footage of Nicholson being thrown down by the cops. Friends, Nicholson was in the face of the cops. That did nothing to him. He was reciting the fact, like an actor, he was reciting all the laws, right? That did nothing to him. They didn't grab his hands, they didn't say, boy, you're out of line. They didn't arrest him, nothing. So when he was going home, as he was going home, look at the footage, friends. I'm going to put the video up. As this guy walking away, the cops then decide to jump on him. And Rafael Fernandez is walking towards the camera. He's walking away from the theatre. Away from the theatre. He didn't go to help his mate. 
Because on Telegram, Thanos is in all them and, and saying after this incident, he's saying, oh, everyone, we've all got to support and, and, and help Nick Patterson now. Let's all get behind this and we've got to help him. Really? You F-wits are all in the same group. So why did Fernandez walk away from the cops? You want to see the video, friends? You want to see it? I don't know if I've got it open here at the moment because I've got so many links open. I'm going to put it in this comment. That's what I'm saying, friends. They're all opportunists and they're all fucking liars. The whole lot of them. And you know what? I'm angry and you should be angry because last year we trusted them. We put our, our heart, our faith, our time and our energy into trusting these groups. And we still do. And what did the Reignite group do? They, what are they saying? Look at what they're saying in the Sky News interview that I'm going to post on here and on my page again. What does the bimbo say? She says, we're coming for your votes, Labor Party. When we know fucking damn well that the Liberal Party, your Fiona Patterns, Animal Justice, Greens, all the political parties are all agreeing with what Daniel Andrews is doing. Scott Morrison just gave money now to Dan Andrews so Dan Andrews can distribute amongst the businesses, the Rotary Elite businesses. So why isn't she saying we're going against the whole government? Why is she saying we're coming for the Labor Party votes? She didn't say Labor Party. But the birds are calling them, they can hear me and they're getting stressed. Why are they only going against Labor Party? I'm not pro-Labor, I'm not pro-Liberal, no one. Even though I voted for Liberal in the past elections. Because I, I, I mean, because because something seriously wrong with Bill Shorten. Right, I mean, I don't even know how he, can, he even has the capacity to work. What's the matter, Clippy? Do you understand, friends, that when you hear someone that's speaking up against any political party, can you hear the cockies? Any political party, they are controlled opposition and they are opportunists. You have never heard me support a political party. I've been involved in politics. I've dated people in politics. I've done things in politics. I know how it works well. Please, 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 I plead you, keep your trusting heart, keep your empathy for people who prove to you with their actions and their words. Because remember, ladies, ladies, I'm talking to you here. It doesn't matter how many diamonds our men buy us, we still want them to say, I love you, sweetheart. We still want the words, right? Still want the words. So we want the actions and the words. In our personal relationships, same with what's going on here. Don't just look at their actions, look at the words. Do they match? They don't. They don't. And they've got a fucking good script. They have? Well, not for me. I got sucked in last year, yeah, because trusting empathy, heart, we put faith in someone, we trust people. We say, okay, let's give them, let's give them the opportunity to prove themselves. Well, it's June 2021 now, friends. Nothing's happened. And on purpose they are doing these fake protests. On purpose they are uh, uh, rah rahing you up, right? So that you can all believe that something has been done. Nothing has been done in Australia or anywhere in the world to help the average person like you and me. Absolute nothing. Absolute nothing. Look at the video footage. Anyone who supports Trump and all these groups and who message me and post, I just block them. Because if after one year, you still, you've done so much research, you've, you've, sent, you've seen so many videos, you still can't see that the new age industry, or the new age industry, all the political parties and all the online groups here and overseas are all opportunists and control opposition. But there's nothing else I can tell you. Things. There's nothing else. I'm not here to convert you. I'm not here to convert you. I'm not here to even convince you things. I'm too tired. I haven't got the time for that shit. I'm busy looking after my parents in my life. I haven't got time to convert you. Right? I'm here. I've been saying it from last year, even long before I met Shiva. And, and others that I support, only Shiva I support at the moment, right, and his team. I've been looking for leaders. I've been trying to create leaders. Where are the leaders in Australia? Where are you? You don't have to go publicly. You can contact me, private message. Where are the leaders? I'm not saying leaders just for your own pocket. 
I'm saying leaders for the world, for Australia at least. Where are the leaders? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Talking about the average person, the average everyday working person who does not belong to any brotherhood group, no group at all, and who is not happy with all the bullshit that's going on in, in the world. And the other thing is, friends, if you look at my post, it's getting dark in here because I haven't put the light on. When you look at articles and stories about certain people online, whether it's on Sky News or whatever, Google their names, right? It's like this liberal representative, Luke something. You'll see it on my profile page. He is against the Victorian government. He is pro QR codes, right? So he's pissed off with the Victorian government. But we all know that it's the federal, that it's Liberal Party. It's the Liberal Party that is, has been supporting all the states, whatever political party they are. The Liberal Party has been supporting, has been funding, has been giving me. But rules, no, how do we stop them? Hi, Leanne, how are you? Um, no, we're not destined. No. Careful that word. Careful. Destiny. You know that song, You Are My Destiny. No, friends. Destiny is what we make it. Faith is what we make it. Just like in astrology, right? I've taught you guys the past year. We have what our... our our, our strengths and our challenges and our um, weaknesses are in our astrology. So let's say in my astrology it says that I've got certain health issues. As a Scorpio, we usually have around the um, sexual organs. That's the, the part for the, um, you know, our ovaries and all that. So what I'm going to do, I know my weakness. I'm going to strengthen it with vitamins and foods that strengthen the ovaries and all that. I've had cysts and all that shit, but it's all right. I got rid of it. Turmeric and all that. I've had birds with cysts. Gave them turmeric. They're okay. Right? For sis. So there's no destiny. We create a destiny. We create what's going on. But what's happening is, is that I'm angry and a lot of you out there are angry because we trusted the wrong people and a lot of you are still trusting the wrong people. It's just like the animal welfare, animal rights movement. They still believe that all the big animal welfare groups are really there to support animals. When we still have live export, we still have puppy farms, we still have bird farms, we have kangaroos being killed, we have koalas being killed, and left, right, and centre. The vegans, the animal rights activists, the animal welfare activists still believe that there are actually animal welfare groups. What can I say, friends? This is everywhere. This is everywhere. And this is why I'm so in tune with what's happening in the political arena too. Because I've been through the activism for 20 years plus in the animal rights area. It's a bullshit. It's a bullshit. Just like a voiceless, right? The daughter. She's been living over in Israel for years. Yeah, they take the money and take it over to Israel, you see. They're all fucking Zionists. Don't get me started on the other groups. Don't get me started, friends, because it's 4.38 and I've got a lot of work to do with the parents. They're all opportunists. And to answer your question, how do we stop them? How do we stop them? Well, the less people do what they tell them, the better. You've got to talk to your friends. You've got to talk to your family. People who are on drugs and alcohol, you can't change. Don't go trying to change people who are on drugs or alcohol. They're not going to change. Medications, illegal drugs, alcohol, they're not going to change. We have to try and educate people as much as possible, give them confidence. Because, you know, friends, that's what we're missing. I was lacking confidence for 48, 49 years. Well, I had it for a few years, 20, got taken away from me in my 20s, 30s, and I just got it back past two, three years. You know why I got it back? Can you put my light on? Yeah, I've got it. Can you close them up outside because it's cold? I think that um, clip is screaming. Someone's screaming outside. Because when you're shoved in the corner, in the corner with issues and you have nowhere to turn, nowhere to turn, the mind and the body automatically says, how can I survive? What can I do to survive? Right? But a lot of you have not been put in the corner. A lot of you. I'm not saying all of you. A lot of you. So this is why we're in this hole. And I was talking about this guy before, this Luke guy, right? Right? I was, oh, I'm trying to put some music on. And I was um, talking about this Luke guy here from Victoria. He runs a restaurant. Look up their names is what I was saying. Look at their names. Right? Google their names and you will see that they have actually been employed by the media 
to be the spokespeople. This Luke guy, you'll see it on my profile page. You'll see it. Because I said, hang on, who is this guy? Why are they interviewing him? Right? Not that I'm jealous, but I'll tell you something. Look him up. Right? He's got a restaurant business in Melbourne. Right? His, his brother runs another restaurant also. And you'll see that he's been interviewed quite a few times and he's quite a bit in the media. Right? Why are they getting people that are that are, you know, been on TV or whatever to speak. Why can't they get the average person to speak? Why? You know why, friends? Because they don't want you and I to develop that confidence to say, hey, someone's listening to me. I'm a small business. I don't belong to anyone. No elite, no one. They're listening to me. They don't want to give us that platform. They're only giving platforms to Peter, like your Pete Evans and all your others because they're all the elitist. The whole freaking lot of them. Because I'll tell you something, friends. Last year, I had information. I've just got some Greek music in the background. I had some information that I sent to Alan Jones by text and by email three or four times about the uh, hotel fiasco. He never mentioned it. He still has it. Someone told me something about who were the security, the hotels, and he never mentioned it. So why, why didn't they call me? Why didn't they email me to fact check? That's what I'm saying, friends. You, you guys have no idea what I've been doing in the background to investigate and research with all this shit going on. Sometimes when you guys don't hear me, you must think, oh, Paris is in her pool and shit. I've only used it three times, friends. You're lucky even in a couple of years, right? You have no idea what I'm doing in the background, but I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. I used to have thousands of views. As soon as I got off the controlled opposition, 99% group and all the rest of them, I had 300 views, then it went down to 80, now I've got fuck all. They're not reaching my videos. And you can watch this video 100 times, but it won't say 100 on the views. I've tested it. Now, lovely Leanne says, but not many people listening. You know what, darling? Leanne, it's like when you're having a partner, you know, straight or gay, doesn't matter. You have a partner, you tell them, you know, you, you tell them to try and make you understand, love me, love me, you're not loving me. You know, why can't you love me? Why can't you tell me you love me? You tell them 10, 100, 50, 1,000 times, they're never going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're not going to get it. And then you start thinking, okay, maybe they've got maybe they've got autism or maybe they've got Asperger's or maybe, you know, there's something wrong, what's going on, or they're having an affair, so then you research that. There goes another 10 years of your life. You can't find the answers, and then goes another 10 years of your life. What I'm trying to say is don't waste your time with people. There's so much video footage of what's going on in the world, right? So much medical information. I actually fact-checked through the medical stuff. Like with, with, uh, with wearing them, this, look at the germs that circulate in the mouth when you're wearing that when you block it. It's all medical stuff. I'm not saying stuff that is from some guru type, you know, website or whatever, a new age website. So if you tell your friends, Leanne, that look, you know, look at this. I've got all this stuff on my, on my Facebook, on my profile page. If you cover your mouth with this, this is going to happen to your mouth. And people know this. Then what happens is they go out and they're embarrassed because other people are wearing it. So when I was out today, 9 out of 10 people were wearing this. And it does. It really breaks you. It really breaks you. Because you think, I mean, when I wear it, I put it just on my chin. They actually cover their whole, they actually have it under here, completely covered. You know the personalities of people by the way, how they wear it. People that wear it under here, the whole face, they're shit scared. They really think that a bug's going to go up their freaking ass. I'm not, we don't care about them. Leave them. They're going to die anyway from all the germs. They're going to die. You don't want to be near these people. They're going to freaking die. No, no oxygen going in, no carbon dioxide going out. They're going to die. Then you get the other people who have it just above here, down. These are people that are confused. See, I've, I've got personality traits for all of them. The people that were, you know, on top of the nose down, they're confused. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Ah, I don't want to get in trouble. And then you get the other people like me that have it underneath. It's because we've got to go shopping, we've got to go out. We don't want to get the stairs. S-T-A-R-E-S. And then you get other people that don't wear it at all. Other people that don't wear it at all. Well, Belinda, I had to wear it. I went in a clinic. So I went in a medical clinic and I had to wear it because that's where my podiatrist was. So, and the thing is that if I argue, I get stressed, I get inflamed and I get very ill because really, as soon as I get upset, my foot just expands 
that because uh, when you get stressed your weak spot gets the inflammation right and and i've got issues with my feet and the rest of it and i think philip's going deaf too don't worry i can say whatever he doesn't listen he's not interested in this stuff <laughs> he's not interested what do i say it's not interested leanne there you go we say we say we say if someone's not interested they're not interested that's why there's sometimes you got to worry because you go you just got to be diplomatic and just get your shit done and that's it whatever but, but what i do behind closed doors is a different situation i'm not going to have to explain there what i do there i'm not going to do that i'm not going to say what i do behind closed doors if i walked in a place and they said ma'am you're not wearing it correctly i said that's okay i'll walk out i'll walk out because then the day i've got to look after my health right it's not just that they're forcing us to do something because if, even if even friends if they forced us to put something around our little finger if someone said to me you have to wear a ring around your finger that would still annoy me there's no health implications right there's no implications but i don't like to be forced to do something if i don't want to do it if i don't want to do it a lot of people you know you tell them have your fruits and veggies and they still don't do it until they end up in hospital and they still don't get it so you can't I can't. Well, you're lucky, Leanne, if they let you do that. We've got the fascists down here in Melbourne. So, friends, look, like I said, people trusted, people believed. I trusted, I believed. I thought better to vote Trump than the other guy and whatever. But I did say, and you look at my videos, I said it's better if Biden comes out because Biden is going to show all his followers. What kind of a liar and fraud it is but you know what if trump come out the same trump had four years in office and did nothing he did nothing friends did nothing you know what always happens when they get in government friends even in australia stock market falls so the elite can get the shares very cheap and then after a week it goes skyrocket that's one thing he did and so what does trump say oh you know i rectified the stock market the New York Stock Exchange and the, um, what's the other one called? I forgot the, um, I forgot on the name now. There's a few stock exchanges. The, the S&P, Standards and Poor. That's what they say. We, we will raise the economic standards. I got into government and look, the economy is thriving. His pockets are thriving, but not the average person. All of them. They're all laughable. They're all laughable. They're all laughable. The whole lot of them. The whole lot of them. Friends, and I've been telling you to look at eyes. Look at Melania's eyes, look at Trump's eyes. And if you look carefully, because you know I watch TV almost every night, and I watch the news and videos. News, look, whether you watch TV or, or online, it's the same stuff. They show the same stuff. You can watch the news on, online. What's the difference? You can watch all the shows that are on TV are online here. But I love my grand designs. Do not take away my grand designs. I love watching the, the show grand designs it's about people the challenges that go through building houses do not take that away from me please friends do not take that away from me what are we going to do friends we're going to keep our trusting loving hearts for the people who genuinely show us that they are worthy of our trust and love and we got to fucking get strong within ourselves and grow up really fast so fast and try and build a network of like-minded people. Now, I couldn't find it in Australia. I couldn't find any. And that's what led me. I'm not promoting anyone here. I'm just talking just as a normal friend, right? And that's what led me. Because I've been listening to a lot of people overseas too, over the years, 20, 30 years. But I discovered Shiva last year. And I said, okay, he's been saying things that I've been saying. Because I heard him saying things after I was saying them online to you guys when I was doing, you know, the the morning um, um, high vibration talks and all that stuff. I said, okay. And I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm waiting to hear something for him to say that I disagree with. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Oh, and he's created um, some kind of scientific uh, um, equipment to uh, experiment on pharmaceuticals, vitamins or whatever. So he says we don't have to experiment on animals. So my antenna ticked up because, you know, I'm against experimenting on animals and against experimenting on people because that happens a lot in Victoria and all over the world. I said, okay, and I'm listening, listening, listening. Talks about health. I did your systems, your health, which is a free, um, there's a website he's got, 
a, a free a link you jump on it's called your system your health and you put in either questions you answer the questions and it says what kind of body type you are and it was spot on with me what helps me and what doesn't and what I need right so what I did is because I, I want I want I want to be part of a group too I want someone I can trust I want someone who's professional who's articulate who who who's experienced in life and professional like me someone who I can resonate with I can't resonate with what with WWWs people in the wrestling matches I can't resonate because that's not my background I need someone who's articulate and professional who's who's worldly well traveled in the rest of it right Dr. Shiv has got a billion times more um, um, uh, education experience than me even though I've done full-on studies for 20 30 years right and I love what he says and he inspires me and I sit in the meetings twice a week so what I've done is I've joined another group of like-minded people thousands of members and um, and we're getting together and we're discussing how we're going to save the world because that's what it is friends we're saving the world we've got to save ourselves we've got to look after our health look after ourselves we're saving the world friends it, it's that simple Battlestar Galactica shit we're saving the world someone's got to do it someone's got to do it we cannot sit back and allow these opportunists these opportunists in Australia and all over the world to make us believe that they're legitimate, they're all control opposition, the whole freaking lot of them. Anyway, so I set up on my own accord a Dr. Shiv Australian Members Group. You don't have to be a paid member. You don't have to pay if you don't want. If you want, you can. You don't have to pay, right? Not on the Facebook group. I'm talking about on Dr. Shiva's group because I want, I wanted, I, moi, a go, me. I wanted to meet like-minded people and I've met unbelievable people, right? And we've even got people from overseas on this group. So if you want to join, join. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. That's fine. But to answer your question, we've got to do something. We've got to get together like-minded groups. We have to get together because the others have just completely screwed us. Dr. Shiva's taking the um, uh, United States government to court. He's still in court with them, right, to prove that they are the ones that are telling social media what to do. It was all bullshit what they said in Australia that Facebook shut us down. Facebook did not shut us down. The Australian government shut us down. And they did that as a precedent to see how the people were going to react. How are we going to react if they shut it down? Anyway, I've got to get going. It's getting cold outside. I've got to go tend to the birds. I've got a lot of work to do out in the freezing cold. I love you all. If you've got any questions, private message me because I can't see a lot of the comments that are online. I get heaps of messages and I want to make sure that I reply to you, okay? I love you all. Have a great evening in, in Australia if you are or anywhere in the world, wherever you are. Have a great day. I'm here for you guys. Let's get together. Let's speak out, friends. Um, oh, we're just thinking of Brian Ferry. Come on, come on, let's stick together. Those of you who are old enough to know, remember Brian Ferry? I don't know if he's alive anymore. Anyway, friends, love you all. Have a great night. Speak to you soon. Bye.